Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's Jack with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today we got another 30 minute full body workout for you. We're going Tabata style once again. It's gonna be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. We're gonna be cycling through six exercises. And we're gonna do that for eight rounds total so that we get that full 30 minutes in with a minute rest between rounds each time. Get ready, cause here we go. All right, guys, get ready. Remember, it's a Tabata circuit. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, cycling through the workout. We have push-ups with a cross shoulder tap. Go ahead and begin. Tight butt, tight stomach. Try and keep yourself parallel to the floor with the cross shoulder tap, making sure that you're not rotating away to compensate. Five seconds, keep working. And rest. All right, and next we're getting up for squat jumps here. Ready? Go ahead and begin. Every time you jump, squeeze the quads, squeeze the glutes, really lengthen out your body as much as possible. On the landing, make sure the feet are parallel as much as you can keep them with the knees pushing wide. We wanna land with the knees pushing wide. Five seconds. And rest, well done. We're going back to the floor for a rock back push up next. Five seconds to rest yet. Go ahead, set up for the push up, tight butt, tight stomach, and go ahead and begin. Push up and then push back into a squatting position. My knees hover over the floor and I'm opening them wide so I can sit between the legs there each time. Push back into the bottom of the push up each time. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Next, we're transitioning to the back for a full arch position here. So you're gonna roll the shoulder blades down and back, pick the hips up off the floor with the feet pointing away from you. The legs are as straight as you can keep them, tight quads, and we're really focusing on the butt flexing here as much as possible. You should not feel your low back at all in this position. Quads, glutes, and muscles of the upper back. Two, one, and rest. Next, we're pulling that left heel to the glute, planting the foot. Go ahead and bridge up with the left leg only, right leg fully extended out. We're gonna stick to the left leg this time around. Focus on tight butt each time you get to that top position. When you're back to the mat, your low back pulls flat to the mat each time, keeping the abs engaged. Three seconds and rest, good job. Our last one on this round is a split stance push-up. Take that left leg out in front of you and go ahead and lower in, just like a regular push-up, but we're a little bit twisted here, working the obliques. Focus on keeping the glutes engaged so we want that wide split stance here, helping the butt stay flexed. You should feel the oblique on the bottom side toward the mat, keeping you up from the hips dropping. And rest, great job guys. All right, take one minute here Make sure you got a water bottle nearby. If you don't, go ahead and grab it really quick. You're gonna need it. All right, 15 seconds here. Let's start to get ready for round two. We're starting back with that cross shoulder tap push up. And here we go. 
pushing up tight butt tight stomach keeping yourself parallel to the floor once again three seconds finish out strong and rest five more seconds then we're back into the squat jumps ready go ahead and begin Springing up long, flex the quads, flex the glutes. Five more seconds, keep going. Two, one, and rest. All right, we're coming back down to the mat for the rock back push up. Go ahead and set the push-up position, lower in, push back into that squat each time. Tight butt, tight stomach when you come back to the push-up. And then feel the lats, feel the triceps as you reach back, forcing yourself butt to heels. Three, two, one, and rest. And once again, we're transitioning to the back here for the full arch position. Roll those shoulder blades down in the mat, pick those hips up, flex the glutes, flex the quads, point the toes away. Remember, it's all about quads and glutes here. Hold tight, three more seconds, and rest. All right, this time we're bringing the right leg heel to glute and press through the floor for that glute bridge. Tight butt, tight stomach. Every time we lower the back to the mat, it's flat. Feel those glutes working to hold the hips up. Three seconds, two, one, and rest. All right, last one on this round, that split stance push-up. Take the right leg, put it out front, and lower in. Tight butt, tight stomach. You're gonna feel the oblique working on that bottom side again. Keep the shoulder blades on the upper back. It should feel like the arm closest to your back leg brushes the rib cage the whole time. Three seconds, come on, finish out. And rest one minute. Take a minute here, get that drink again and we'll be right back for another round. All right, 15 seconds before we start round three. Go ahead and start getting ready. We're going back to that push-up with the cross shoulder tap to start. Five more seconds to rest here. Ready, go ahead and begin. Tight butt, tight stomach. Tap without rotating the body away from the floor, trying to stay as parallel as possible. Your abs are gonna help you do that. Your obliques are gonna help you do that. Three seconds, get one more if you can. And rest. Next up, squat jumps. Ready, and go. Five seconds, keep focusing on that safe landing, driving those knees wide, and rest. Start setting up for that rock back push up. Ready, go ahead and begin. Lower in, push the butt back to the heels. As you push back, you wanna feel those lats, the muscles along the rib cage. Three 
five seconds keep pushing back into that stretch each time and rest and back to the back for the full arch ready go ahead glutes tight quads tight toes pointing away shoulder blades rolled down and back really opening the chest Three seconds, hold tight, and rest. And we're back to the left leg glute bridge here. Go ahead and begin. Push through the floor, squeezing the glutes, keeping the abs engaged so the back comes down flat to the mat. The leg that you're holding up should stay about the same height or angle of the thigh that's pushing through the floor there. And rest 10 seconds. We're going back to that split stance push up. Take that left leg out front, squeeze those glutes. Ready? Here we go. Lower in, shoulder blades down and back on your back, elbows in toward the rib cage, especially that back elbow. It's going to feel like it's right up against your body. 10 more seconds, keep working. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and rest one minute. All right, 15 seconds. Start to get ready again for round four coming up. We're gonna be starting back with that cross shoulder tap push-up. And go ahead and begin. Focus on your core. Three seconds, finish it out, and rest. Three seconds, ready for squat jumps, and go. Squeeze those quads and glutes tight every jump. Three seconds, two, one, and rest. Back down on the mat for the rock back push up. Set that plank and go. Push the butt to the heels. Stretch those arms, triceps, and lats. Ab stain engaged, glutes engaged in the bottom of that push up position. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Coming back to the back for that full arch, go ahead and hold tight. Squeeze the butt, squeeze the quads. Upper back pulls into the floor, holding that arch the whole time. and rest. Coming back for the single leg glute bridge next, bring the right leg back in so the heel is close to the glute. Go ahead and begin. Drive up through the floor, squeezing the glutes, lower back in, low back flat to the mat every time. Three seconds and rest.
All right, set up for that split stance push-up. Right leg forward. Go ahead and begin. Tight butt. Abs engaged, obliques working. Elbows tight to the body. Three seconds, finish out strong. Two, one, and rest. You're at the halfway point. Take a minute rest here, and we got four more rounds to go. All right, 15 seconds, start to get ready for round five. Ready? Push-ups with that cross shoulder tap, go ahead and begin. Tight butt, tight stomach, focus on the plank, don't rotate away from the floor. Two, one, and rest. Woke up, told myself to push and never stop. I've been stressed out. Back up we go for squat jumps, ready? And begin. Tight quads, tight glutes, really stretch it out on each jump. So I watch my back and keep it moving to the front. And remember that the world's yours. Do it how you want. You've been waiting here for too long. Think it's time for you to move on. Realize that there's real lies in these real times. Three seconds, finish out strong, and rest. Coming back down for that rock back push up. Here we go. Lower in, sit back to the heels. Three seconds, get one more rep. Great job, rest. And back to the back for that full arch. Ready, set up, and hold tight. Squeeze the glutes, quads, back pulling into the floor. My whole life I'm forever grinding. Waiting for my time to shine just like a diamond. When life is rough and I ain't with that funny stuff, I use it all as motivation, but it's hard. Three, two, one, and rest. Might be the hardest thing I have to do in life. Frustrated that I ain't where I want to be yet. But I know that and left leg glute bridge. Pull that heel tight to the butt. Ready? Push. Squeeze the glutes. Keep the abs engaged. You shouldn't feel like your body rotates very much in this movement. You want to try and stay level throughout. Three, two, one, and rest. One more exercise on this round. And split stance push up, left leg going forward. Go ahead and begin. Squeeze the glutes. Keep the chest as parallel to the floor as possible. The hips will be as perpendicular as you can get them. That's where the obliques are working. Last three seconds, two, one, and rest one minute. Fifteen seconds left to rest. All 
All right, round six coming up. Cross shoulder tap push up. Go ahead and begin. Focus on that plank. The hands are underneath the shoulder each time, so we're keeping some width to them. The feet are also about hips distance apart. Three, two, one, and rest. Squat jumps, ready? Here we go. And begin. Squeeze the quads, squeeze the glutes. Focus on the landing. The feet get planted, the knees drive open. Keep jumping, finish out all the way, and rest. Back down to the mat, rock back push up, go ahead and begin. Lower in, push back to those heels. Get a good stretch in that push back each time. Three seconds, two, one, and rest. Alright, back to the back for that full arch. Roll those shoulders back, go ahead and lift those hips. Tight butt, tight quads. Legs pointing the toes away the whole time. And rest. Right leg glute bridge coming up. Pull that heel close to the butt. Push up. Low back flat to the mat for each time we lower in. Keep focusing on those glutes. Three more seconds. And rest. Bring that right leg out front for that split stance push-up. Go ahead and begin. Five more seconds, finish out strong. Keep those glutes tight, keep the abs engaged, and rest. One minute rest here. You got two rounds left, two rounds. Fifteen seconds, start to get ready for round seven. And begin cross shoulder tap push up. Three, two, one, and rest. And back up for those squat jumps. Ready? Here we go. And begin. Three seconds, finish out the jumping, stay strong, and rest. Set up for that rock back, and begin. Push back into those heels, 
Stretch those lats, get those triceps firing. Tight butt, tight stomach as you lower in 10 seconds. And rest. Back to the back. Full arch, ready, and hold tight. Squeeze those glutes, tight quads, point the toes away. Keep the glutes firing the whole time, that's your focus. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, three seconds, left leg glute bridge coming up. Ready, go ahead and begin. Drive through the floor, flex those glutes, keep the abs engaged so that low back always comes down flat. Three, two, one, and rest. One more exercise on this round. All right, left leg forward, split stance push-up. Go ahead and begin. Tight butt, tight stomach, shoulder blades engaged. Keep the elbows in toward the rib cage. Five seconds, all the way to the end here. Three, two, one, and rest one minute. All right, 15 seconds, get ready. Here comes the last round. Finish out strong, guys, you can do this. Go ahead and begin push up with that cross shoulder tap. Focus on your core, keep the glutes engaged, keep the abs firing. Make sure that that tap doesn't make you rotate away from the ground. 10 seconds, keep driving through. Get as many reps as you can in this time frame here. One more. And rest. Good job. Alright, back up last time for the squat jumps. And go. Stretch those legs out. Press through the toes. Flex the quads. Flex the glutes. Reach those arms up overhead. Safe landing every time. Feet plant. Knees drive open. 10 seconds. Five seconds, keep working hard. Finish out those jumps. Two, one, and rest. All right, rock back push up, get set, and go. Solid plank every time you're lowering in for that push up. Tight glutes, tight abs. Push yourself back into those heels. Use the arms, actively push your hips back. 10 seconds. And rest, good job guys. Back to the back here, we got that full arch. Go ahead and hold. Glutes are flexed, quads are flexed. Legs are as straight as you can hold them in this position. As much as your hamstrings might be trying to take over at this point, keep making the glutes work. and rest. Two exercises remaining. Right leg coming close to that glute for the glute bridge. Get ready, get set, and go ahead and begin. Tight glutes every time you lift up. Keep the abs engaged. Three, 
three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Last exercise here. It's that split stance push up. Going right leg forward, go ahead and begin. Tight glutes the whole time. Feel the oblique keeping those hips in line. Shoulder blades on the back, elbows rotating in toward the body. Last 10 seconds, finish out strong. Give a good final push here. How many reps can you complete? Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and rest. Well done. All right, great job guys. I wanna thank you for working out with me today. If you like the workout, please let us know by clicking that button down below. Leave a comment and let us know how difficult you thought it was, what was your hardest exercise, and if you have any questions about any of the exercises that we did. Lastly, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any more videos like this. We're going to be doing workouts and informational videos about two times a week. So join us for those. See you guys next time. Thanks for joining.